Hello everyone, today I'm going to be reviewing the book Birdie, The Life of Edward VII by Jane Ridley. And Jane Ridley is a historian, I watch her a lot on, she's on a lot of programs that I've watched about the royal family on the BBC, and she's a really, really good historian. She's done a lot of things and been in a lot of programs that I've watched. And this, as the title suggests, is about the life of Edward the Seventh, who is, who was the the son of Queen Victoria and Prince Albert, and he was one of those people. He kind of rebelled against his father and mother. Uh, his father and mother wanted them to be wanted all the children to be these perfect, outstanding models of what Victorian society should, should be, but he had other ideas. He, you know, he gambled, which was seen as not a good thing, and he had tons of mistresses throughout his life, both as Prince of Wales and as King Edward, and, you know, just the total opposite of his mother and father. And this just talks about his life. And he had a really interesting life. And when he becomes king, a lot of people are really nervous about, you know, what kind of king he will be. Because until recently, Queen Victoria was the longest reigning monarch. And he was even nervous about what kind of king he would be. His mother did not give him any duties to really prepare him. But he seemed to be pretty liberal and he let people into certain circles that normally wouldn't have been, you know, in circles, you know, such as Americans and Jewish people. They weren't really in the royal circles, so he kind of was liberal in that, in that, you know, that sense. And it also talked about his marriage to Queen Alex, who was Alex of Denmark, and even throughout all of his affairs, she was still royal, a royal wife, which I don't know of the women that I know in my life and myself, I don't think I would just be able to stand around and watch um, my husband have all these affairs. So she was a really dutiful wife, and even in his after his death, she became loyal, and, she, and it took them a lot of time to take her, take the body away from her, because she wanted to keep him for herself. And this was a really good book. I watched. A few documentaries about Edward the Seventh, so I knew a lot. Um, and he, I think he just lived life to the fullest. He wasn't king for very long. He was king only for uh, like nine years, from ni 1901 to 1910. So he wasn't he wasn't king for very long. He just didn't really take care of his health, and he kind of just lived. You know, had the before it became a thing, a YOLO attitude. And it was really kind of cool to see this, to read a biography about him, because I don't, I didn't find a lot of biographies about Edward the Seventh. And the only problem I have with this book is this audiobook is too long. It is about 22 hours and 30 something minutes. It, it, was really long, and you really don't get to him being king until maybe the last five hours or six hours of the book, and I don't think it needed to be this long, um, and it did kind of drag on a bit, but that is really my only problem with the book. It was really interesting to see the life of Edward the Seventh. And the narration is very good, and, um, you know, I've seen Jane Ridley in the past, like I said before, and I think that she is a really good historian. Um, 
and at the very end of the book she talks about she mentions a lot of you know what if things had been differently like if what if king if queen victoria had given him more power um maybe if she if he would have married another wife that hadn't been so uh had hadn't gone along with all of his affairs things would have been differently and maybe if he would have taken care of himself we would have had a longer reigning monarch there's a lot of what ifs and that's a lot with any his history you know so i just thought that because that's the first history book that i can think of that really talked about the what ifs so yeah that is all i want to say about this book and um i feel kind of congested i am getting over a cold so that's why i feel and sound congested so my new books air are going to come out soon and I'm going to try, it's my new year's resolution, to try and read more print books and I need to focus and do that and so I will be finishing when I get back home because I'm currently at my mom's house, I will be finishing the Borgia Bride and I'm going to read the new Philippa Gregory book, the Tidelands book, I have, I have an iTunes, I have, I got an iTunes gift card so I'm going to be reading that, um, I'm gonna read, I think it's called Tideland, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna download that and read that, and then I might read another vegan book on Audible, and then after I finish The Board Your Bride, I think the next book I'm gonna review is about Catherine of Eric, uh, Catherine of Eric, no, Catherine the Great, I'm sorry, Catherine the Great, and, uh, The Royal Diary, series about her so that will be the next few books I read and I need to stop buying books and I need to finish the ones and review the ones that I have before I buy another one because that's just ridiculous so um, I hope you have a happy new year and this will be the last book of book review of 2019 so I will see you in the new year very soon, a few days, a few days, I will upload a video on the new year, 2020, and I hope you have a good new year, and I hope you all had a good Christmas. I, I did a Christmas message on Facebook, but I hope you guys had a good Christmas, so I will see you all in the next video and in the new year. Bye!